Right guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be going through some troubleshooting methods that I hope will help you fix FIFA, other EA titles and many other problems within the games too. I decided to take to the World Wide Web to do some research on ways to fix EA problems, especially the one that says you don't have the correct permission to access online, because a lot of people have come to me with that problem asking for help, so I hope this video helps you. I will link all the methods in the description so that you can skip to ones you haven't tried yet, although I do recommend watching the entire video, as there might be some things you haven't done within each method that could make that difference and fix your games. Some of these methods might work, some won't, and some might only work on certain consoles, but this is all I can do, as I don't work for EA or Xbox, and I only have an Xbox One myself, so these are Xbox One methods. But I'm sure there's a way you can do exactly the same methods on a different console. I would like to quickly tell you before I begin talking about the fixes that some of them might sound stupid and you might think that some will do weird things to your console. But I have done most of these that seem scary myself and I can tell you that they don't affect your console or games in any way whatsoever. They just fix problems as long as you follow them properly. You might find that none of them will work as it's a problem on EA's end and you just need to wait it out. But if you need any further help with a certain method, leave a comment and I'll help as much as I can. So, method number one. The first method is the basic console hard reset. On the Xbox One, if you hold your finger over the power button, after around 10 seconds it will auto shut down. And then if you just power it up again after a few seconds, it will load up with a green Xbox screen first which basically lets you know that it's been hard reset successfully. This should be similar for other consoles, maybe by taking out the power cable for roughly 30 to 60 seconds. Method number two. So the second method is to simply check your age to make sure you have the ability to play online. When I say check your age, I mean the age you have set on your console, not your actual age. As EA say that a lot of games are for free plus, but you actually need to be 13 plus or at least have your console set to think you're 13 plus to play online. So if your parents set up your account or you're younger than 13 then you won't be able to play online unless there's some way around that. One thing you can try to bypass the age restriction though is to make a new Xbox account and have the age set to an adult age. Make the account and then sign out of it. Sign into your main account, the one that you've got Xbox Live Gold on. Add the new account that you've just made to your console as an adult family member which will give them gold. Then sign in with the new account and it might let you play online, although it will mean the playing on a different account for the time being. Remember that none of these are guaranteed fixes, but it wouldn't hurt to try them. Note that you can't play online without a gold Xbox membership, and sometimes entering a trial code, so like one of the two days Xbox Live, or a week ones, I think you can get months as well. They can mess up your EA games, I have no idea why they do that, but sometimes they do. If you're not sure how to add the new account that you've just made as a family member, then I'm sure a simple YouTube search will find you a good tutorial as I don't know how to do it myself. Method number three. The third method is to go to your Blu-ray settings and clear your persistent storage three times. Then go to your network settings, go into advanced settings, alternate MAC address, and then you want to clear that, and then restart the console. When your console is restarted, hard reset the console using the first method from this video, then try loading up your game again. Method number four. The fourth method is to clear your saved data. So you want to go to My Games and Apps, click Start and Manage Game, hover over your saved data, delete the saved data from your console only. If you delete it from everywhere, then you'll lose your game saves and stuff, but by deleting it from the console only allows you to resync the data as the cloud stores it all for you. Method number five. The fifth method is a few in one, and to start, try logging out and back into your account, then starting the game up again. You can also try going to your privacy settings and allowing chat and messages with everyone. Just pop all your settings on open or allow. That seems to work for quite a few people. Uninstalling your game could also help, but can be very time consuming as it takes a while to install some games. But you never know what could fix it. Even if it takes you hours and hours and you try all the methods, if you get your game working again, it would have been worth it. Anyway guys, if these methods didn't help you out, then I apologise, but these are all the methods I could find. If you know any other methods, let me know in the comments. If I find any new methods, I'll do an updated video. I have mentioned some of these methods in previous videos, but give them a go anyway. They might work now, even if you tried them before. And as I said at the start of the video, these might not work, but then again they might. So I hope these methods did help you out. If they did, leaving a like is always appreciated. 
Leave a comment and if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching.